All right, so we have a friend visiting us for about a week, and I'm making it some milk right now. This is our little guest. Who was trying to show up? Why well, that? Trying to do our security system. We had no choice but put in our chicken pen, so. Nope. Listen, and here's the little guy we've been waiting for. Look, I'm looking at a little baby. That's pretty good. These guys, these guys are bad. Snowball. We'll call it a snowball. Cause she's made of snow. Look at that fur. It's snow. Holy chickens. Get away, you pesky parasites. Do it, run. Get away, you pesky parasites. Doing the pressure thing, everything. Dad, can I feed a mommy? Ask Daddy. Mommy? Please. Okay. Please so, some friends of ours at church, they, uh, what do you say? They have a lamb operation? A sheep operation? They, yeah, they, have, a sheep farm. they have a sheep farm. St. Croix sheep. St. Croix sheep and one of their mamas gave birth to twins and rejected this one so they have been bottle feeding it because maybe they will use this lamb for show fair shows and stuff and they are out of town for a few days so we volunteered to take care of her while they're gone and she gets four feedings a day so it's good practice for us well I guess hopefully we don't end up with any bottle lambs when we do have sheep. How's it feel? Do you think she has those dents or can you tell? Yeah, she does. Still. All right, so she needs to eat. Come on, Missy. Come on, Missy. Snowflake. Is that your first baby lamb holding? Oh my goodness. This is, yes, this is the first time I'm holding one. I could just cuddle up with her. Can you believe how amazing the hair is? It's amazing. She likes it too. She's she just understand. She thinks people all are she's heard. all she's had since she was teeny tiny is people. <laughs> it feels good, doesn't it? Man, she smells better than the puppies. <laughs> wow. Now you can't do it like that. It's got to be up right side up. Can I take her inside? Do you think no? She'll pee and poop. Camden, do you think she's pretty? Yeah, I, I wanted to feed her. All right, put her down, mommy. Yeah. <laughs> Milk like. We got a we got a sheep lover. So tell me, this is not what they look like when people have lamb chops. No, they're way bigger than this. Okay. Yep, they're not way bigger than that. <laughs> All right, put it down. Come on. Okay, okay. Let me get some frolicking video. There's frolicking. Go ahead, get it. Um, Colonel, what are you doing? She's mating. It's a heat. Colonel, you look good. Looking good. Is this your ladies, Colonel? Are these your ladies? Are you the boss dog in here? Are you guys getting our garden already? Y'all got some more grass to eat out of this garden. Scratch up. Liam, come here. Come here, Liam. What you doing, Snowflake? Hey, Mommy, I want to come here. Daddy, get Snowflake to come to me. Woo!
saying, can I hold it? Daddy? Just saying, can I hold it? Snowflake. She's having fun. Man, isn't that lamb beautiful? Beautiful. Well, so far it's been a pretty good experience, I think. So there's um, probably going to be some St. Croix in our future. Do you like holding her? Yeah. Is she soft and warm? Yeah, if this one stops, stop then we'll all be in my bed. All right, let's see you put her down. Yeah, watch how she runs. on the closet here in our bedroom if you remember this is where the bedroom door actually used to come and we decided to move it over here into the hallway and so now this gave us like an extra little closet we got our clothes closet over here which will eventually be closed in this is going to be like just uh, a bunch of shelving for so far we think for a bunch of books and some other things so i'm going ahead and insulating with one inch foam in between the studs and i'm getting ready to beadboard it off and we'll start our little closet. That's too much high. There's two rooms in this room. All right, the closet is done. And it is looking good nice and sturdy you could pull on it it's gonna be able to hold lots of books and whatever else we need and eventually i don't know how good you can see right now but i'm going to frame this in to here and there will probably be a small bifold door right here and then eventually this will be framed in for the outside and there'll be two bifold doors here but um, this actually moving our door in the long run um, to over here in the kids hallway actually ended up giving us more storage space so it's going to work out really nicely so there it is all done if you're at, if you're thinking about these shelves I like these wire shelves because in a tiny house um, it's really good for everything to be able to breathe as good as possible so like the other side of the bedroom the big closet for folded clothes that's all this similar type of shelving um, so it's good for it to be able to breathe um, but it works great. It's quick, strong, it's easy, and it looks good. Another project done. Now peel your bananas and take a bite. Down by the bay. Esther 8 9. Then were the king's scribes called at that time in the third month, that is the month Sivan, on the three and twentieth day thereof. And it was written according to all Mordecai commanded unto the Jews, and to the lieutenants, and to the deputies and rulers of the provinces, which are from India into Ethiopia, 127 provinces. 
unto every province according to the writing thereof, unto every people after their language, unto the Jews according to their writing and according to their language. Esther 8 9. Amen. Amen. Gachi, what are you doing? I say no. Where are you going? Hold on, I help you. Gachi, what are you doing in there? Can you see me? No. You can't see me? I need to watch a movie. Are you hiding? Hmm. Peek him out. <laughs> Gachi. Peek him out. No. What are you doing in there? I'm just sitting in a cave. You're sitting in a cave? So Kristen baked some amazing homemade bread uh, the other day. She made like three loaves of it, maybe four. And look at this. Look how beautiful and fluffy it is. She cut these thick slices, okay? And then she's over here. Oh, yeah. French toast. Look at this mountain of French toast. Beautiful. Look at that skillet just sizzling with some French toast and bacon. If you can't not have bacon. This is like homemade syrup right here. Oh yeah, it's about to go down. All right, so Matt has ordered some fish to put in our ponds. So they're here today to pick them up. There's a bug right behind us. What are we getting ready to do? Fish in the pond? Yeah. So we're getting ready to go down this path right here to the pond and put our fish in there. Let's go. We need some more algae eater animals, huh, Daddy? Oh my goodness! What? That's what these fish are for. Lots of grass in there. So those grass carp should help, hopefully. I need a longer one, Kim. do that? Clear that algae out of the way. Come over here and watch. Look in my bucket. You may know it might be all the minnows. They're all the minnows. There they go. These are minnows also. Why are these minnows on these? You're going to fall in so you're not paying attention. Up. Look. There's some. If you look at the... Alright, you ready? Yep. Here comes some more. That's what it means, Daddy! That's what it... Did it get all hurt? No, I think they're okay. That's what it is. That's what it is. Look, these are called bluegills. I can't bluegills? see very mm -hmm. well in there. Bluegills? Can you pick one up so we can see? Yeah. See them? Oh, uh, yup. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah! Pick them up! Let me see! Alright, ready? Mm -hmm. Let's put these ones in. <laughs> Kenton, stop, stop running. Back up. I need to stand there to film. You ready? Here, look over here. They're probably disoriented at first. Let's hope they all go out. They'll figure it out. That's a cart. That's one of the carts. That's a grass cart. Whoa! That is a catfish. Enormous. There's a catfish. There's a catfish. Oh. You guys are missing it, Karen Campton. Uh -huh. Can I pet it? I can't see your block in me. I pet one. There's a catfish. Wow. Oh, it bit me. What? Did it bit you? Yeah. Oh, it bit you. Okay, cool. slow down. Oh. That's where my foot goes. What? Whoa. Go grass cart, go! Night, working on some late night projects. Well, not late night, it's only 7.30. It seems to be about the only time we seem to get things done. Or ha half time to work on. I call it a late night project at 7.30. We finally got a new mattress, been my, wanting one for quite a few years now, so Matt is going to put some slat frames on the bed, um, 
We don't want it to be completely sealed. That way it can breathe. And then we will put our new mattress on that has been up in Cameron's loft for 48 hours airing up. It was one that we ordered from Amazon. Mommy. It was 7.30 when we started. Look at this mattress. A little after look, 10. Look, look at that mattress. This mattress came Holy in that Holy my goodness, that is not going to fit a sheet on it. There's no way. Uh, that's what Cam that's what Cameron's for. No, you're gonna help me. You're already in there. Hold on, don't knock down my music. Beat me up, Scotty. Alright, pretend like you're washing. Come on, you've done it before in a bucket. Okay. <laughs> Make sure your hand don't touch this. You're very close. Catchy, you look like you've been tasting stuff. Yeah, all right, mommy will do it. Okay. Ah, it's really hard on my hand. Jeez. They make the E sound. Eh. Do. And then E. Then E. C. You just did it. C. You just did it. C. C. R -og. Og. <laughs> Say it again. Frog. Good girl. Hey, mom, uh, no. uh, no. On. On. Good girl. <laughs> this is definitely a day for the ducks. They are loving them some puddles right now. All right, guys, here we go again. We can't resist baby stuff when we see it in the store. You wanna come with in there? Nah, they'll see it when we get home. Okay. So here's what we brought home. We have some beautiful little turkey poults. I think they're called poults and not chicks. Beautiful. Now we did unfortunately have the first day one fatality but we are on day uh what day is this of the of the poults we're all on saturday night. Like we had so this is day three and the rest of them are doing really good um yesterday when we made them or day before yesterday we made them a jar of justin rhodes magic water with um the vinegar the honey and the garlic and they finally just about finished that off today so we're giving them regular water today and then um, tomorrow or the next day we'll probably do magic water again um, but these guys look great they're doing really good um, they're just cute as can be and I'm doing the um, the the layered bedding so I just freshened it up you know it already had some spilt food and some and some poo in there and it was getting starting to get ugly so I I just freshened it up with a fresh layer and so so easy and let me tell you I don't know if you can see me because of like but man is everything easier than ducklings I mean the ducklings they just make such a big mess so much water so much poo smushed everywhere i mean brooding them oh man it was so much work but chicks and these guys psh, piece of cake
There's no smell whatsoever except for the pine shavings. And um, they're just easy keepers. We've, you know, we've seen and, and heard and been told that um, baby turkeys are really, really susceptible to, you know, getting sick and dying and stuff. So um, that one died shortly after we brought it home. So I hope it was already having problems at the store. And these guys all seem pretty strong and vigorous. So, um, there's seven uh, white turkeys here, and uh, they're not sexed. So there could be toms in here, and there could be hens. And there's one bronze, and she is a hen because they're sexed. So uh, they only had one left, and we we weren't just going to leave her there by herself. So we brought home the. This was all they had left at the store, actually, was the one bronze and the rest of the whites. So we just got all of them and looking forward to them growing up and being healthy and having some um, um, having some turkey dinner one day. When they're this small and this cute, it's almost kind of hard to think of them as food.